For the past several days, I have gone in and out of businesses, industrial parks, stores, shopping centers in northern central California, central coast. And the picture that I've seen in the past several days is not overly pessimistic or overly dramatically pessimistic. It does present a pretty good picture of where we actually are standing right now in 2009. There are many, many houses for sale, many, many houses for rent. It seems like everything in at least this part of California is either for rent or for sale. Overall, there's a sense that there's less economic activity, although there still is a fair amount. But there's less. There's been a reduction in this economic activity as is seen by the uh, numerous vacancies in commercial real estate. Some areas are particularly hit, hard hit with commercial real estate. And also it's important to remember that in California business costs are fairly high, so it puts added pressure, added strain. As for what the future may bring, most folks seem resigned to get through it. I'm not sure how many are going to make it. I think so many that are one or two months away from going under, or the percentage is very high of those, 30, maybe 40 percent. So it's a fragile situation. And of course a uh, snowball effect. If these folks don't have jobs, they're not going to consume, and if they can't consume, they can't create jobs. They catch 22, and in uh, Northern California, the catch 22 in the bubble has uh, at least seems uh, to have gotten little by little worse.